Hello friends, I am Sanjay Gupta. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how you can create radio buttons, checkboxes, drop down lists and text area in HTML forms. So before starting, you can note name of my Android app that is Tag Image. You can download this app to learn programming. So first input type is radio. You can implement this input element including type radio to design radio buttons and output will be displayed on web browser. So input type is radio, its name is sex, value is male and this radio button will be selected by default or you can say it will be checked by default because I have written checked here and it will display mail as caption on browser. You can change this a name if you want to print any other text you can replace it then to link another radio button you have to use type input type radio then its name should be same with previous radio button so if you want to group some uh, radio buttons together then name of those radio buttons should be same its value is female and this text female will be displayed on web browser. So this value attribute is required when you connect your HTML code with any server side scripting language like PHP, ASP or JSP. So uh, those languages will receive values of these radio button with the help of value attribute. Now I am going to execute this radio button code for your understanding. So I have implemented form tag inside form tag. I have written input element two times and its type is radio name of both the input type radio is same. Then their values are male and female. Then first one is checked by default and text you are male and you are female will be displayed on web browser. So I am going to save this code name of this file is form input.html and it is available in my HTML folder. So I am right clicking on this and I am opening it with Google Chrome. So you can see that you are male and you are female captions are displayed here and first radio button is by default selected which is representing male. If I click on second radio button first will be deselected and second will be selected automatically. So this is about radio button. If you want to include another radio button then you can write input type radio name should be same value can be different and this caption can be anything. So you can link more than one radio buttons together by defining same name. Next input type is checkbox. So checkboxes let a user select zero or more options of a limited number of choices. So in radio button you can select only one option but you can select more than one options in checkboxes. So you have to write input type checkbox in place of radio. So now I am changing this. So I have uh, implemented input type checkbox at both the places. Now I am saving this code. I am moving to web browser and I am reloading this file. You can see that uh, checkboxes are available here and first is automatically selected because of checked attribute. If I click on second checkbox it will it will be selected also. So in case of checkbox we can select all the checkboxes we can select any one or we can deselect all the checkboxes also. But this is not possible with radio buttons. In radio button we have to select one option forcefully. Now next one is select element which is used to display drop down list. So you can read this code which is available how you can implement drop down list in HTML. So now I am going to implement this for you. So I am implementing drop down list just after the check boxes. So first I have to type select name so this name will be identification of this drop down list
then in second i have to type option so option then this value is its value which you can use in server side scripting language and this volvo is caption so this is caption which will display on browser and this is the value which will be used by the server side server side scripting languages like asp and jsp for processing purposes so i have to type option value equals to suppose volvo then i have to type caption and then i have to close the option so this is first option of the drop down list now i am copying this and i have pasted this four times and then i have to close the select tag now i am replacing these values so i have provided four car names along with their values so first is volvo then bmw fiat and audi these are the option which are implemented under select element so i am saving this code moving to the web browser i am clicking on reload you can see that a drop down list is available here and four options are available in this it is displaying just after after the checkbox if you want to display it in next line or new line you can implement br tag here and if you want to display checkboxes in same line you can remove the br tag which are available between them so i am saving this code and clicking on reload you can see that checkboxes are now in same line and drop down list have been shifted to new line and it is having four options and first option is selected by default now if you want to select any other option by default you can use this example you have to implement selected with any one of the option so suppose i am typing selected here i am saving this code and i am clicking on reload so you can see that fiat option is by default selected if i want to select any other option like bmw now it will be selected so with the help of this code you can implement any kind of drop down list in your html code and the output will be rendered or displayed on the web browser now next element is text area so you might have seen that if you want to display too much of text then you have to implement text area in your forms so i hope you have created a uh, email account on gmail yahoo or any other, any other website then there is a option terms and condition so those terms and conditions are displayed with the help of text area so now i am going to implement text area for you with the help of this text area element so first i am typing br tag so that text area will be displayed in new line so this is the name of text area which be, which will be used by server side scripting language like asp jsp or any other language then i have to provide rows so i have implemented rows 10 and then columns now i have to type some text now i have to close text area element so there are three attributes name rows and columns element is text area and this is an example to implement text area in html forms this is the text which will be displayed inside text area so i am saving this code moving to the browser i am reloading the form you can see a text area is appeared here and the statement which i have typed inside text area element is 
displayed here if your text is large then automatically scroll bars will be available here so with the help of input type radio you can implement radio buttons with the help of input type checkbox you can implement checkboxes with the help of this select and option attribute you can sorry option element you can implement drop down list and with the help of text area element you can implement text area in your forms so you can use them individually or you can combine all of the elements simultaneously or together you can also implement input type text in this form which i have explained in my another tutorial so you can implement all these elements in uh, one forms so that you can implement any form uh, that can receive inputs from the user thank you for watching this video